Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video and hopefully the final video on the Ford Ranger. So there's going to be a bit of everything in this video and like I've previously said, sometimes these videos, I'll start videoing them like today, I'm going to start this. When Chris gets in, he's actually going to pick up and do these plastic repairs. But then we've got to wait for the paint shop and then once it comes back, we've got to fit it. So sometimes the videos, they actually... We've had them last as long as like a week before, and in the HA Viva, could last even longer. So Chris has been away for a couple of days doing some maintenance. I've come in, I've lit the fire, I've got the bumper out ready for him because he wants to crack on with this. Quite a bit of work there and repairs to do on this plastic. So I'm going to get the soldering iron out, get the heat gun out, get everything ready for him. And I'm actually going to slip off this morning and tell him that I'm going to look at a car. Guys, we're not actually going to look at a car. You may have actually already seen that video. It depends on what order they come out in. So I'm going to go off and look at something. And then when Chris gets here, I suppose he'll do a bit of time lapse and a bit of filming. We'll let him crack on with that. And we'll pick up when I get back. So guys, lucky me again. I don't know if you can see through the window. You probably can't. I've got the little one liter eco boost in the back and I've spoke to our friends down at the engine place where we got the Ranger engine actually. And his friend's got the specialist tools in order to take that bottom pulley off, hold everything in place and change that cover for us. So I'm gonna head over the, through the tunnel I keep saying over the tunnel, through the tunnel and drop that off and leave Chris cracking on with that front bumper. But you see from that previous little bit of time lapse, he's quite an artist with that soldering iron and melting new plastic into the back of it to keep it strength. So we we'll leave him cracking on with that. I'm gonna go and drop this off and then I suppose I'm gonna be out and about because I'm gonna have to drop that off at the paint shop as soon as it's done. So let's get on. just got back guys look at that chris you really should have been a surgeon oh, if people that. got scars that neat they'd be over the moon how are we getting on with it yeah it's got to go back in there for a bit of primer in a minute that's all and then it's ready to go to the paint shop yeah I'll prime it up today flatten it off tomorrow once it it's once it's around. dry perfect so Another little thing recycled and saved. Will we be getting all these little loose bits off? I don't think that paint's well, meant to be probably, on there, is it? Uh, probably will before it goes. Yeah. All right then, mate. Guys, that paint, I certainly didn't mess around. He actually owed us a bit of a favour. I dropped this off, and the very next day, today, he couldn't get hold of me this morning, so he rung Chris. Chris has been round there and picked it up and built it up, put the new spotlights in there, number plates back on, all this lower valance is back on. So I'm going to take it outside and actually fit it to the vehicle. But it has come out lovely, Chris, that, isn't it? Yeah. I can't even remember what side was damaged. Uh, passenger side. So it was his side, wasn't it? Yeah, passenger side. Yeah, that's all come out very, very nice. Right, let's get it fitted.
little bit ahead of myself there, guys, didn't I? You would have uh, actually seen on that bit of time lapse. So I put the front bumper on and uh, got in the back to get the grill out and the other bits of plastic and realised I hadn't put the foam reinforcement behind the bumper. And that's because it was right in front of me. So fortunately, Chris come out, managed to just hold this side out a little bit and I managed to slip it straight in there. So got a couple of little uh, broken trim clips, pushing clips, so I need to dig some of them out. But that is the front of it back together couple of bolts to put in underneath and then put all the wheel arch liners back they're in there so just need to put all the clips in them let's move on chris is just doing a walk around approval there no just kidding um guys you would have seen on that little bit of time lapse i actually put the front bumper on and you eagle eye guys would have actually seen that i did forget to put the foam reinforcer behind there the absorption pad so and it wasn't until i opened the back door to get the bolts that i realized i hadn't done that so fortunately Chris was able to just hold out this side for me. I'll give him a shout. And we slipped it in now. And now it is on there properly. Properly. So the grill's back on. Bumper's back on. Just got to plug the fog lights in. Uh, wheel arch liners under tray. Getting very, very near the end of it now. But still plenty to do on this one. I'm really shocked about the fog lights. It does kind of make sense. And that aircon rad, Chris. What did you say that was out of? It's out of another... Mark had it on the shelf. Didn't it said it's out of another fold, so it's definitely not out of a Ranger. No, he isn't. And it fit, it fitted perfect. So, of course, we've got all that to do as well. Chris is looking for the bolts, and I've got them in my pocket. Let's, let's leave him out long before he says, Where's the bolts? Right, let's get on. Sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise, guys. I'm out. It's quite choppy today out here. So that is it. Not one nut, bolt, screw or washer left over. Everything is back in where it should be. Quite a good colour match. Very, very slightly off. But again, it's a bumper. Bumpers never match the panels, do they? It is perfect now. We just need to concentrate on getting this clean. It's a shame it's got cloth seats, but oh, do you know what? I don't think that's really going to affect it too much. But it is quite mucky. It is all done now. And lots of, we've only driven it that once out on that test drive. So it is now time, guys, to get it out and get the rest of the little jobs done on it. We're going to be finishing this one, I think, today. Hopefully. Guys, quite a lot of people did keep messaging in the last video asking about the the cut the canopy saying do we want to sell it separate it's the wrong color for the vehicle etc etc guys we don't break vehicles up or sell parts off of them that is going to go with the truck if the new owner decides they don't want it on there then it's down to them to take it off and sell it we're not going to go into obviously it comes with the truck so let's first off let's take it for a little drive and i think we can get the air con done first because i don't want to get it mucky even though the sun's out it's been tipping it down all morning. It's only just come out. So let's go and get the air con done. I've arrived, guys, and it, it just seems to drive better and better every time I drive this truck. And that engine is so quiet now. It's just getting quieter and quieter the more we use it. But he's got the gauges on it. I mean, we've replaced that air condenser. That did have that tiny pinhole in it, and that's where it lost its gas. I can't record all of this. It was too long-winded, so... This machine, I mean, I think it said 10 minutes, so we've already had it on three minutes. Vacuum for seven minutes, brings these gauges down to where they need to be. And then it'll do a, like a hold, where it'll hold the vacuum in there for a certain amount of time. I know all you refrigeration and aircon guys, I know exactly what I mean, but basically guys, it'll hold a vacuum just to make sure that there's no more leaks or holes. And if there's not, I think this is all quite straightforward and automatic, these machines. It's not like old school bottle and gauges so as long as that machine's happy with it it'll actually do the cycle and recharge the system with the correct amount of gas and then fingers crossed we're all good 650 grams that took guys not that it's going to make a blind bit of difference today but it is ice cold bit of a giveaway and that's hard to show whether your air con's working if i turn it off see the revs pick up 
Let's actually turn it on. There you go. It takes a couple of seconds and it puts a dip in the rev. So, aircon done. Let's move on and uh, go and see if we can do something about this mess. Because this is uh, this was used for work. This car. Let's go and get it. Have a nice clean done. Guys, can you believe that? I've just started time lapsing. Look, it started snowing. Let's flick back over. It should look quite good on time lapse. Come and park up by the paddock, guys, because we've got some other cars around the corner that we're not ready to show you yet. That come up really, really nice. I was quite shocked. I wasn't expecting it to look as nice as it looks. It did, however, highlight some marks that we didn't see. So I never actually saw this little dent in the door and that little mark there. And there is a few little scratches that will polish out. But look how clean it come up. See, there is a little bit of a scratch there through the tailgate as well which is unfortunate but it is what it is look how nice and clean that looks I really didn't expect it to look that good there's a couple of tiny little dinks in that door there as well that are probably sticking out just there and of course that mark in the arch there but it's going to reflect in the price I've left it running, and as you can hear, it's so quiet now. So guys, check this out inside. In the back, of course it hasn't been as used as in the front, so the back seat come up really nice. All of the floor come up lovely. I must take the hang things on. That beeping is because I got out while I was driving and this, that's the seatbelt alarm but I did show this here earlier how dirty it was I do do let's plug that in guys because it's gonna drive us crazy otherwise isn't it that should stop now yes yeah, so I showed this earlier and it was filthy they do a lovely job and he charged me 25 25 quid so all quite nice nothing's all beaten up and scratched in here is it everything works aircon works radio power fold mirrors didn't even know it had them until i was just coming out of the car wash they all working everything's working so that is it do you know what time it is guys let's go inside and crunch the numbers i just went to walk in there guys and it occurred to me i hadn't shown you in the back of it so they did just, I think Chris brushed it out. He did, he brushed it all out earlier. I didn't get them to wash in here because as you could see by the car wash, it's actually down a forward slope. So all the water would have stayed in and then when I drove out, would have all poured out the bottom. So, let's carry on. So the all important numbers. I know everybody loves this bit and it's nice for us when we do it because we know that it is actually the end of the road with a vehicle. And of course, you guys know that it will be coming up for sale very, very soon. So quite a lot of you guessed right, actually. When we bought the car, obviously we get... Sorry, I'm just going to quickly put in... For those of you guys that have only been following very recently, I'll just get quite a lot of Instagram messages still saying, how much is the car? When can I buy it? And we've had it quite a lot on that late Peugeot van we're doing. So guys, what we do is the whole series of videos, and then right at the end, like this on the Ranger... We actually crunch the numbers, tell you how much it cost us, how much we spent on it, and ultimately how much we would like to get back for it. So they're all for sale once they go for sale on Instagram. So purchase price, quite a lot of you guessed the price of it, and quite a lot of you was actually bang on the money. So we give £3,500 for it. He had had various other offers from like car buying companies, 
and other people basically and the best bid he had had was two and a half or three thousand so we went just 500 pound more and he said yeah sure you can have it so the engine down at the engine place was 1400 pound exchange unit as long as our engine didn't have any holes holes inside of it which it didn't guys did it it seized up so it was 1400 pound the turbo we bought just the cassette from london turbos we bought the last one from there had great success with it so we went with them again and it does seem to be working fine it is a very very awkward job to do that's probably the hardest one i've done in i mean it took over an hour but on the bench you have to take all the blades and the, the baffles out of it and it is quite complex putting it back together it was quite awkward so yeah turbo 130 the oil and filter was 65 holds a lot of oil this does the air filter shocked me 30 pound but it is a huge thing the paint shop always looks after us and like i said he owed us a bit of a favor so he did put that in front of another job he was doing 100 quid aircon gas we've just had done 60 pounds again i mean oh, they do look after me but so if i go over there and i've got a little car they do it really cheap for me most places are just the same price across the board unless it's a really really big vehicle so i'm happy with 60 pound the valet i just had done i said previously was 25 pound now materials i do always we do always allow a little bit for materials because you got a bit of primer you got the filler bit of sandpaper to block it all off with etc etc so we got 30 pound now e fuel for my van so we delivered our engine to london engines and bought the other engine back and of course we got the dartford toll in that as well so we got 30 pound down for that now, we did previously say that we was going to be doing a full service on this vehicle. So it has got, I haven't got the keys with me now, I think it had 200 and something miles diesel left in it. And I can see Chris around this, just walked past, I think. 200 and something miles left in the tank. And we're not going to sell this vehicle until that's down to zero, until I have to put more diesel in it to sell it. But once that has happened, I'm just going to run this in a little bit. We're going to fit the auxiliary belt and the diesel filter because they're the only two things that we haven't fitted on this. We've got them and they was £56. So guys, we got a total, which I think's a good price for this truck. But we we fell on our feet really, finding the engine place, getting it so quickly. Nowhere normally does it that quick. We got a total of 5 4 5,426 pound you can't buy one of these trucks for that money which is always good because that means there's a profit in it I said to Chris because quite a lot of you do keep asking in the comments how many hours have you worked on the vehicle and he said the same as what I always say we don't really work like that guys we you know we work on our numbers and if they stack up at the end of the month we're in front we're doing all right but we have from start from the minute we bought this vehicle to the minute having it completely finished we have spent four complete days on it so that's nine till five for four days solid so we might have done a little bit on it that day a couple of hours and then a little bit on it the next day so like chris building all the engine up and then i think i came in the next day and we put it in so it was four solid days there for doing it i did forget to ask chris i've come out here because he's banging around a little bit in there but i did forget to ask him how much we're going to actually ask for it but i do actually think that this has got to be worth eight and a half to nine thousand quid i do need to check the market but i'm thinking around that figure and i'm sure chris will agree so guys i'm afraid i haven't actually written it down today so you're gonna to have to work out the pre-tax profit there but yeah let's say five five and a half and we sell it for eight and a half there's potentially three to three and a half grand profit in this for us so we got that to look forward to so guys that is the end of the video today and the end of the complete series on the ford ranger like i say i'm going to run this around now and actually use it as a bit of a parts getter 
because it's got the nice big back in the back of it. And as soon as it needs, you know, as soon as I've done that 200 miles in it, I shall chuck it on Instagram for sale with a price. And as usual, it'll be a bit of fastest finger first. So whoever reaches out and sends me their number first, I will ring you in that order. So if you did enjoy the series on this and enjoy this video, please do hit that thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. And of course, it shows your appreciation. Like, subscribe and share. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.